Hi everyone, welcome back to the Board Game Junkies. Today, Sean and I are going to be doing a playthrough of Worms. <laughs> Worms is a two to four player game, lasts about 45 minutes, and is brought to you by Mantic and Team 17. Now, if you're as old as we are, we played the original Worms on the digital side back in 1999, and it's been going till, I believe, 2016, maybe 2013. But this is the board game iteration, and uh, I'm totally excited to get into this. You ready to go for war? Ready. We're gonna fight it out, let's do it. All right, now that we have everything out and uh, not quite ready, not like usual, let me put my hat on backwards for this so you can see everything face down. Uh, we're gonna- Your hat I don't... had everything to do with that? Yeah, cause like uh, the beak could be out here oh. and they could see it and That's they might not be able matter. to see everything down here. So what we're gonna do is uh, we have everything ready for worms and we're just going to do a brief setup of it to kind of show you how you begin it and then we'll do a playthrough. So, to start with worms, what you're going to do is we're going to move these out of the way. These are the tiles, uh, the hex tiles, and they're double sided. So you have a regular side for like ground and maybe a space side since there's like a UFO in it. So what we'll do is we'll put these aside for now. Uh, you'll have this little wind marker. This will be the first hex that you're going to place down anywhere, basically in front of you. Then You'll take these two, or these um, hex uh, terrains here, and for every player, you take one. So, go I ahead, have. take one of these hexes, whichever shape, uh, I'll take this one. Okay. okay, so since there's two of us, we each get a hex, she gets to put one down, okay. and the other player places one down as well. So now that's gonna be the shape of the terrain. <laughs> uh, the next thing we're gonna do, is this is a little indicator, a little arrow that's gonna show what direction the wind is going to be going on this map. So in worms, we're gonna take a, we're gonna roll a, a die here. And we're gonna look for a number. And that will be the direction that the wind is gonna be going for this start of this game. So at least we have the wind ready to go. Now, next thing, Cristiano and I will be going back and forth, placing out things. Things are, Worms, our little worm guys, you can see them, really cool. You have uh, supply crates that uh, will give you weapons and stuff later on. You have barrels that can explode and cause fire everywhere and little mines. So we're just gonna go back and forth placing one of any of these. See if I place nothing but the yellow, then I'm setting myself up. So you can place any of these things. But basically it's one per player. So one supply crate, one barrel, and then she would have one as well. So go ahead and place any of them, yellow, blue characters, anything. So you basically go back and forth real quick, taking one item, place it in many uh, of these hexes here. So you never really know how it's all gonna play out. All right, this is going pretty quick. And ending with this one. Okay, so now all the items, and, or things as they call it, are now placed out here. Uh, we are going to, you're not, well, you're supposed to be handing out these cards. These are gonna be identical to each player. That would be a ninja rope, a girder, an Uzi, and a bazooka. These are the same for every player, and then, you have a bunch of other starter weapons that you're going to shuffle and you're going to hand one to each player. So you'll have a total of five cards and that will be your starting hand. So the other player won't know that that extra card you're going to have. Now we're going to set up the turn order. So there's going to be about two cards for each player. So two, four, and you always put out an additional two. So if there's three, they put out uh, the two, four, six cards plus an additional two. But those are random. And then these cards here that you see, these are end game 
cards. They're random. There's not as many of them, but uh, they're pretty destructive. So once this finally card comes out, it will be the not the end of the game, but it will speed up the game significantly. So we're gonna just choose one, put it on the bottom, put that out of the game, put these supply grades out of the game, take these ones. Oh no! Nobody saw that. And we'll place sure that on that top. Was the right file. Yep. Okay, it's all good. All right, so we have everything going here. We got this little chip. This is if you land on fire or a mine, you'd flip it. But what we'll do is we'll use this as our, uh, you know, who goes first type thing. Uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna do the reference card first. So you shuffle this back upside down. These are basically, <laughs> so I can show you player turn cards indicating whether you're the blue or the yellow character. There's also red and green, but we chose these two. So you flip them upside down. Don't look at them while you're doing this. And then Christina can take one. I'll take the other. I'm going to be yellow. So it makes it fair. You have no idea how you set this up. So we'll flip this. See who goes first. Let me guess. Happy worm. You want to be happy worm? Okay. Happy worm. I'm going to be dead. So we'll flip it. I'm going first. So this is your uh, starting marker. And also your, um, what is that called there in this? Um, I remember what it was called, but I'll get back to you on that one <laughs> when it happens. It's your target token. So that's what it is. You'll target things. Anyways, so to start it, you're going to activate a worm. So that means you're going to pick one of your worms that you have out here on the terrain. Uh, and then you'll go from there. So first thing in a turn, I'm going to activate this worm here and I'm going to, uh, it says heal the worm if it's damaged, but it's not, then you can inch or jump. So, uh, that is simply to move one space. If you're going to inch jump would be if you want to jump over two hexes, but there's a downside with jumping. You can actually fall out the map, but I'll show that if it happens. Okay. So I'm going to move over here, grab this supply crate. Supply crate is these cards here. Get placed in your hand, secret weapons. They're more powerful. And then I'm going to probably turn. Let me see what I got here. If there's anything worthwhile. There is. Okay. Then you choose, you're going to uh, choose a uh, target that you're going to go after and you play a card from your hand. So this is bazooka right here. And you always go from left to right. So it'll be an attack symbol. So it says target direct hex, accuracy four, and then blast the hex. So the accuracy is how many die you're going to roll. Okay. So I got the four die here. I'm going to roll it. And out of the four dice that you have, you're going to pick one of the die that you're going to roll. So, um, all these numbers indicate the location it's going to be going. So from your target token, four would be into myself. Uh, this symbol here is the wind symbol. So that would go in the wind. So back to myself, uh, five would be the water and wind would be myself. So yeah. since I don't want to kill myself, I'm going to choose five and I'm just going to let it go right into the drink. So that was a giant waste. Um, so that sucked. This card that you've just played goes out of the game and now end your turn, which is to flip over a drop card and you're just going to do everything that's on there. So it says place a supply crate in the emptiest hex. So what's the emptiest hex? So everything here counts as a thing. So since everything has a thing in it, just in anyone. you're just going to go into one. So I'll put that there. And then it says place a mine in the same hex. So we're going to place a mine and then change the wind direction. So that's simple as Whoops. grab one die, roll it two. wind has now changed to two. And that ends this drop card goes off to the side here. And then you pass the target token to the next player and that's it. That's the turn order. So from now on, Christina and I are just going to be playing this game. All right. All right. Okay, so I need to activate a wormy. 
I'm going to choose uh, this one. I'm going to inch here to take this supply crate. Thank you. Let me know down below if you've played uh, Worms or the original from what is it, 1999 on the computer? I played that one and uh, we recently uh, downloaded one for the, uh, made a little emulator box so for the TV. So we play that on the TV, one of the newest ones. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna move back. Right? Because I have two moves I can do. Yep. And, and then you can play a weapon card no, from your no, hand. I'm going to stay there. You're just going to stay there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you still have one more inch. So I'm going to target this one. You target yourself? I'm going to play the petrol bomb. Are you sure that's a good idea? I don't know, but I'm going to go with it. That's going to damage all things in the hex, you included. Yeah, but I get to place the target and then move. Right? Or does that also damage me? Uh, like let's see. So accuracy two, damage things in the hex, place fire in the hex, then move target token in the wind direction, damage things in that hex, place fire in that hex. So usually you do this, which is everything here, then you do that. So then no. you'd be moving. That would be a bad idea. Scrap that. You could just move back over here and then use it, but then you're in the area. But it says you have to be in the hex. Does it say oh, that? or just target. Target anyway. hex. It literally is any oh, hex. Oh, sorry. I thought I had to be in it. Okay. Let's just, anyway. But your accuracy is two, which means that you still would want to be within two. So okay. because you're one, you get to roll both dice. Okay. Dice rolling. She loves it. Hate it. Loves it. See, I can even get a freaking. Okay. Wind okay. and five. So wind would bring it to here and five in the water. In the water. So that was just crap. So you can let that go if you want. But see if you have it hit you, place fire token and then move target token in the wind direction. So, it's so it'd be there and then it would go here. Okay, no, it's gonna go. I'm gonna use five and put it into the water. All right. That's it. Uh, yeah, so then it would be end turn, draw a card. You didn't get anything done that day. <laughs> Even me, I didn't get anything done that turn. So this would only apply if I hit... If, if it would I actually hit, it. hit the okay. ground somewhere. Otherwise it just... Yeah, like sometimes you might be like, you know what, I'll let it hit me if I was over here. Because then it would be a barrel and an explosion. Hmm. You might want to take the hit sometimes. Okay, So. so we'll flip this. Flip over Oil a drop. drop card. So place a supply crate in the emptiest hex. Which? Uh, oh no, no, no that's, that's two. Sorry. No, that's two things. Oh, you're gonna steal it from me. Oh, you could steal it there too. Oh, it looks like I can steal it anywhere. Steal it from anywhere, but whatever, I'll go there. Uh, place an oil drum in the same hex. Okay. And remove three fire from the map, which there are none, and change wind direction. And bolt. All right. Target, which just stays. Same wind. Two. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Uh, all right. Uh, so for my turn, I'm going to activate this little worm here, and I'm going to inch this way. I'm going to get this supply crate. Shocking. <laughs> and then I'm going to inch back over here. I'll take this target token back. And see what I can do here. That's gonna be worthwhile. Uh, hmm. I don't know what I want to do with this because uh, that's a two, eh? Hmm. No, no. Okay, I'm going to play handgun. So, target. A direct hex within two. So I'm going to choose this one. And damage a non-worm thing. So I'm going to shoot that barrel. Now when you destroy a barrel, all of these up here indicate what you would do for a barrel. So I'm going to roll five dice. Hold her steady. Don't sit there and turn it. <laughs> Hold her steady. 
Don't do that. What the frig? Okay. And so this is going to indicate everywhere where the fire is going to go. So one is the direct hit. So that's going to hit there. So we'll put a fire token in the place. We have number six, which would be out in the water. That doesn't matter. One, which okay. is in the water and wind direction for two. So that would go over here. And what does fire do? Damage all things in the hex. So it basically caused this to explode. So this goes and a, a uh, crater happens in that area. And then it sets off this barrel, which is another five freaking die to be rolled. And hopefully nothing goes anywhere there, but probably won't. So for here we have on the spot, it already has a fire, so you don't do anything there. Six, water, into the wind, water, two, water, and two, water. So that's it. Nothing really happened for that. And, but you are damaged because of the fire. And uh, then I get to play another card. And I'm going to play uh, an Uzi. So with the Uzi, I can choose to move. I'm not going to move. And I'm going to um, direct hex within two. Same friggin' place. And I'm just going to damage that. No. Uh, every worm has two hits. So the worm dies. These two cards get out of the game. And I'm going to draw a drop card. So a mine and a supply crate in the emptiest hex I've got to put and then change the uh, wind direction. So what has the, what's the emptiest hex here? Uh, you're right, you could just steal stuff from me. So I guess it doesn't matter. Emptiest hex and a mine in the same hex? Yep, oh, then it, maybe it might not be a, a good idea to go in there. And then change wind direction. So we'll just roll a die. You know what? Six. Why do you re-roll? You always been playing it. Where you just keep it. Are you supposed to, or are you supposed to re-roll it? I'm not sure. I'm starting to wonder, and I don't want to end up, oh, you're, what you're supposed to do is this. It's like, great. I know I'm always effing something up in these games. Whatever. And I'm worried Who about cares? it. We're humans. That's right. Um. Okay. So. So now it's my turn. What am I going to do? Here's your token, target token. What's your plan? Hey, Stan. I'm not looking. I want to I, I want to see what happens. Okay. See, so that's kind of nice. So that almost guarantees it for me. I mean, you could go in or you could use a girder. Okay. I'm going to use the girder. Great. That's what I thought. And I'm going to go here. Remove this. So I don't have to worry about Stepping on that. Take this. Okay. And I shall take the. There you go. So, now what do you have planned for me? So, it's basically that she can move, which she did, and then she can play another card. Um, so, so, what do I want to do? So far, only one death. I'm telling you, I was worried about this game when I bought it because uh, it looked like she wasn't loving it too much. And to be honest, she probably still doesn't very much. Depends on who's winning, obviously. Currently, as it stands, she hates the game. So if she can kill two of my worms, she'll love this game. <laughs> it's true. I only like it if it wins. That's not true. I just, I prefer the, the version you downloaded. It's are easier. This isn't bad though, now that I've played it a few times. Oh crap. Okay, what am I gonna do? So I am going to actually this is stupid. Okay, uh sorry. I'm gonna play the bazooka. Okay. And where are you gonna target? So it says target direct hex. So hex directly in one of the six directions, straight line. I'm gonna do this one. So it, no matter what, if it was this way, it would be here. So you wouldn't be able to do this. Right. Right, so it would just be, whoops, put my little guy back. Okay, 
So, so you're doing this one? Yeah. I'm so you put your target one. token in there. Okay. And four. So you're going to roll four dice. Here, you want me to hold her? Or can you know. see that maybe? I don't I think that they can see a little bit. I'll just look out. Okay, well, show okay. them the die. Okay, so we've got two direct hits. So clearly, so you choose one. So she's clearly going to take the one where it yeah. hits. I'm going to choose that. So you're damaged. Yeah, so I'm damaged. You're going to be placing a crater in the location. And then I'm going to scatter the, uh, <clears throat> scatter the worm. And which I'll means you roll, roll one, on. one die and he could fly into the water. Four. Four. Where is he going? Right in the water. Okay. This worm Bye. is gone. He has died. Off you go. He can't swim. All right. We're hanging out here together. Looks like it's it. It's yours. Okay. Oh, now I do this. So, yep. Drop. So drop card. Two supply crates. Place two a, different. Yeah, place a supply crate in the emptiest tax. Then place a supply crate in the emptiest tax. And then change the wind direction. Okay. Wait, is that the emptiest tag? Oh shit, sorry. Whoops. I wasn't trying to be a cheaty cheaty. <laughs> Actually, so I, the, I just- These it. craters count as one as yeah. well. So you're probably, yeah, I guess it, yeah. You could just play where you are. Five. Five. Okay, wind's going that direction now. Okay, that's your turn. All right. Um, I am going to choose uh, this worm here. No. Correction, I'm gonna choose this worm. I'm gonna move out of here into this hex by inching over. I'm gonna grab this supply crate. And then I'm going to, um, oh my God, this might work, I might not. Okay, I'm going to flip over this target token to this side because I'm gonna be playing an airstrike. So in this airstrike, you're gonna choose a hex. And then these three hexes here are part of a line. So what you could do is use this wind direction. So it's pointing this way, right? So your odds are probably best. So it just says target an airstrike. So that means you can place this anywhere on the map. So what I could do is choose this side like this. So that way, whenever I roll the die, whether I get a direct hit or the wind direction, I'm still going to be hitting the right. So uh how many does it hit oh no it's uh two so you're gonna roll two dice for an airstrike oh. oh sorry so scattered target token so let's hope i got wind and direct so it doesn't matter blast each hex so all three of these are gonna get blasted we can start with this first one here and then work our way down once oh, we get do you there. want to resolve? Because we, yeah, we'll just have to resolve okay. everything as we Let's go. Let's just do that. It's easy. So you're on your side, but then this explodes too. So another friggin' blast hex would go there. But uh, I guess but we'll I'm have dying. to scatter you. Oh. Because it, you, you would scatter after the first blast. So into the wind. wind. So here. You'd end up going over there. But yeah, I think you're very dead. Because the very next thing that happens is this gets blasted. <laughs> so this gets... Blasted. That's gone. So that supply crate's gone. Another blast goes there. He dies because he only has two health. This mine goes off. So another blast crater gets placed there. And then this goes off. So we'll do this as well. So this barrel will explode, which means I have to roll all five die. Okay. No crater gets put there, though. Here there will be, but let's do that. So we got uh, one in fire in the direct hex. There's another direct hex. There's one in the wind. So one over here that will damage this guy. And three, where's three? Three is down here. No. And where's the next one up then? Does this damage the supply crate, the fire? Uh, damage all things in hex. So the supply crate's gone. Okay, and then you're going to blast this one. Which, because he's damaged. Now he's dead. Oh, for dead. F's sakes. Look at that. This was a huge, huge hit. And it worked really well. It worked really well. Okay, and uh, so that's it. <laughs> that's it for that. We're going to turn over the drop card. So place a supply crate in the emptiest hex. Place a mine in the same hex. Change the wind direction. 
So what is the emptiest hex? Well, anything with one. There you go, but I have to put a mine in there too. And then we'll change the wind direction and it is going to six. So back up where it was going. All right. Okay. This is a short game. It might be, but who knows? Maybe you'll have a comeback. Yeah, because I'm totally able to revive my worms. You can actually heal them. The ones that are already dead. Oh, no, no, they're long gone. Yeah, they're, You're not getting that back. Okay. Oh, God. I was making up for this worm his lost life. I was like, don't worry, I'll make up for it. Okay, so you start, you activate a worm. Well, I'm obviously gonna have Heal to make that a friend. I'm gonna call you Teddy. <laughs> Teddy? So Teddy is now activated. Uh, so what is the plan? Because this is quite the scenario. These two are almost in the water. So one more blast in each one of these, they're, they're just turned into water. So these little hexes, if you, that's what uh, those are for. So what's the plan? Let's put that there. Um, I can't really do all this. No bueno. I'll use the Uzi. Okay. So a direct hex within two. So do I get to use two die or just the one? No, you don't even need to use a die. Oh, which is Only if it has accuracy. Okay. It just simply will damage okay. the thing in the hex. So him. So damage. he's damaged and then you can move if you want. You know, you're far out of the way for me, so that might help. And I can't get to you through this fire. Okay, so that, uh, that ends your turn? Yeah. Oh, no. So we'll uh, flip over a drop card. So it says uh, place the supply crate in the emptiest hex. That might, oh no, you can't do it there. Emptiest hex is anything with one. And place another supply crate in the emptiest hex. And then change the wind direction. Wind direction, okay, six, all right. So now, uh, it's my turn, so I have to choose a worm here. I'm gonna choose this worm here, which means I immediately get this supply crate because I'm in the area. And then I will look over my cards and hopefully something I can reach. Oh no, that's not gonna work. I'm going to use a girder so I'm going to remove the fire from this uh, spot. And then I can move. I'm going to move into this hex, grab this supply crate. And then I'm going to... So, and then at the end of that, it says I can play another card. So I'm going to try to see what I can do here. Um, this is not good. Can I make it one, two, three? I can't end. Uh, yeah, so this isn't gonna work. Uh, you know what, I'll use jetpack and I'm going to jetpack. So it says move one hex, ignoring water, mines, and fire. So there's one hex, I'm ignoring all that. Then it says move one hex, ignoring water, mines, and fire, one and then inch one. So basically these two, I just ignore the, all the stuff. And <laughs> uh, now that I'm there, that's it. So- um, But you get to play again. I do get to play again. Great. I hate this game. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna play a grenade and I'm gonna target my own hex. So I know I'm sacrificing my own worm and the whole thing will go into the water. So I'm going to use accuracy two. So it is two dice. Let's hope. Wind and direct hit. <laughs> I'll choose direct hit and blast the hex. So because there's three blasts in there, the whole hex, everything in the hex goes away. Dies. Even me? Everything dies. No. Me and And it goes in the water. Ending the game with one worm and one injured worm. 
And now I'm just gonna go in slowly for the handshake in hopes that everything will be safe for me. Safe. <laughs> Good game. Good game. So I guess I wanna end with, uh, it's chaotic. Let's give it that. Um, but it makes you feel like you're playing Worms, the digital game. As best as it can for a board game, you know what I mean? Yeah, they did a good job. Yeah, like the characters are really cute and everything. Christina's already thought about uh, painting these things. Yeah, they're so boring and ugly. Just simple gray, yeah. Like it, it, with some paint, it would look really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that we'll say is that um, this is just other things we've noticed. The bottoms to these, they don't really sit properly. They tend to fall off. So she's taken a little bit of glue and glued the uh, bottoms on. So that's really good. Other thing we've noticed is the card stock to these cards are very flimsy. So you're gonna want to uh, sleeve it because- uh, Yeah, they're pretty weak. They're weak. They're not very good card stock. Uh, aside from that game, I think uh, pretty high up there. I don't think I'd give this a 10, you know? But I think it's pretty fun for it's what it is. It's a fun game. If I did have to choose, I would rather play the digital though. Okay, so she's going digital version of for the this, board game. For sure, yeah. There's just too much happening. Um, and I just find it easier to let the computer do all the thinking. Yep, okay. Like when you set this whole row off, like that entire thing, I was like... That was crazy. I was It lost. was just so much shit was going on, yeah. right? You had like the the two barrels exploding, you know, the mines going off and like, well, they did say that that shit can happen, right? It would all just be a yeah. giant thing. And then you basically go based on, um, the player that's active would be choosing the order of things. So it'd be like, okay, I died. I'm going to see if I scatter. I don't shit. I stay there. Then the barrel exploded. Right, and then, right. so you're just going over the order, but overall, it is fun. It was a, it's it's a fun, fun game. game. Uh, I think maybe it would be really chaotic with four players. Yeah, we always play everything with two, obviously. But um, yeah, that might change like the way the game plays. You have more space, too, because you're using all of the pieces, right? Yeah. So you have more on the map. But yeah, it might be fun with Less more. likely of a chance of this happening. Yeah. But the gameplay is not long, mm -hmm. you know? No, it's a quick game. So if you wanted to just have a quick little battler, then this is not a big deal. Like, anyways. <laughs> That's Worms. That's Worms. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next game through. Oh, game through. Playthrough. We'll see you in the next playthrough. Take care, everyone.